So if you want to use JavaScript inside Blazor, you want to make a what's known as a JS interrupt. And in this video, I just want to show you a quick example on how to use it. So I just created this Blazor server app. And to show you how you use a JS interrupt, I will first make a button. So I make this button uh, with an unclick listener, which will trigger the function append text that we're going to make. And it has some text where it says run the JS script. So the reason I call it append text is because I want to make another diff just like this. And inside this diff, we're going to append some paragraphs. So each time we hit the button, we're going to add a paragraph to this diff by using JavaScript or actually by calling a JavaScript function. So now we're going to create the actual method. So first of all, we're going to inject the IJS runtime and we just call it JS. And then we make a async method called append text, where we then await a JS runtime call and say that we want to invoke it async with a string. And then we're going to specify which function, which JS function we're going to run is the show alert that we're going to make. And then we have one parameter that we're going to send to that function. And this is the actual text that will pop up in the alert box. And here you can actually specify more parameters. So just by saying comma and another string maybe. So if you want to send multiple parameters, you can do that. But the actual JavaScript are we going to run in the underscore host file. So in our solution explorer, it's the pages folder and then the underscore host file. And the reason I have this host file, if you don't have it, then it may not be a Blazor server app that you have created from the start, but rather a Blazor web assembly app, or maybe just a ASP.NET Core web app that you tried to convert to using Blazor. And I think if you have done that, uh, you have to put your JavaScript inside your BBV root folder and inside your JS folder then it might gonna work, but this tutorial is just for Blazor server app. So we will open the underscore host file. And inside this file, you actually just wanna make a script tag with a JavaScript function inside. We have this show alert, just like we said that we wanna run right here. And then we send one parameter, which is the message. And then what this JavaScript code will do is to take our diff with the p container ID and append this new paragraph with the inner HTML being appended paragraph. And then it will return the alert box with the message that we put inside. So let's go and test this. So here we have our normal Blazor server app template. And you can see our button that we have created, the run JS script. And when hitting that, you can actually see that the alert is coming first even though we appended the paragraph before the alert box. But this is because the DOM is going to be rendered or altered when we return the JavaScript function and going back to the Blazor file. So if we hit OK now, you can see that we have appended the paragraph. So this was actually just a short video on how to use JavaScript inside your Blazor application. Please like and subscribe my channel if you like the video and else I'll see you in the next video. Bye.